Okay, I've pretty well finished the first rough cut. I found some mats that I didn't know were there. Uh, I really understand when groomers think they're getting dogs that are mat free and then you come home with a shaved dog because a lot of times you really don't know until you get in there with the clippers or the scissors that there's mats there. He had a pretty good sized one back here and I had to clip the hair a little bit shorter there but within a few weeks you're not going to know the difference. I used to worry about that but anymore I just figure it'll all even out eventually. So once you've gone all the way over the body with the clippers I just go back and start blending a little bit. The hair will be standing up again by now, so you can just go right back on over it. Take care of any parts that may. So basically it's two times over with the clippers. The first time just the big rough cut, the second time you're going to be a little more careful, blend a little more, make sure you're getting everything fairly even. But even if you don't, it doesn't really matter at all. Works out in the end. I like to keep his belly shorter than the rest of it in the summer because it keeps him cooling. So a lot of times I'll just go against the grain like this on his belly hairs and go ahead and take those off. Do the same thing behind the elbow because that most of them tend to mat really badly right there, so I keep it fairly short. So those are the two times you'll see me go against the grain. So his feet are still wet, so I've only done down to his like his knee on his legs. And a lot of times I'll finish up the bottom of the legs with the scissors anyway. I'm still getting a little bit of hair off. There's still some hair standing up that wasn't there the last time or laid down in front of the clippers the first time through. And his hair is hmm, probably between a half an inch and an inch. Which is a good length for him in the summer. Okay.